Well, hello and welcome to the Iconolufti Visitor Center in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. One thing that's pretty interesting right now is this place is closed because of coronavirus. You cannot go inside, but you still can visit the grounds. The grounds are not closed. You can see there are people still here, but as far as going inside of the actual visitor center, it is closed. Ooh, this is interesting. What is that? Is that a bear trap? Is that a, could that be a bear trap? I hope not. It's right inside of there. I don't know if you can see, but I'm pretty sure that's smoky. Or it might be just a regular ranger. Anyways, let's go see what else there is. And as we start to walk from the visitor center here, going down to the little, I call this, I think they call this like a farm museum. Cause it's like a little farm, a little recreation. Recreation. The old visitor center, it's closed off because of the coronavirus, which is kind of why we are actually out here, kind of in, it's somewhat nature, uh, looking at things, keeping our distance from other people. So we don't spread anything to them. And they don't spread anything to us. You know, just erring on the side of caution, so they say. In any case, let's get to what we're, we're here for. This is, uh, just so you know, this place is beautiful. It's wide open. Look at these fields. Wow. Ginormous fields and the, the mountains all up in the background there. That's, that's crazy. You see there's some old, old looking buildings. I don't know how old they are, but they're old looking. I don't think we're gonna be able to go inside of them though. Usually you can, but uh, I don't think this time. I think it's safe right now, but if you do see an elk in these fields, it means that they're closed. You should not go in there, probably because elk are kind of, you know, they're big and, and scary. They can, can kind of mess you up if you're not paying attention, if you try to get too close to them. But right now it looks like I don't see any, I do not see any elk out anywhere. I don't see much of anything. A couple of birds, actually. Uh, you probably can't see it, but like right in this area, there's something digging around in the, in the ground over there. Pops up every now and then. Right there, you see it? There it is. What is it? It's something. Well, we just walked in along this trail here because we heard this water by the river. But look over here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a family of elk. We are staying our distance. We're actually gonna walk back out of the woods, leaving them alone. That is crazy. They're ginormous. Very much bigger than I thought they would be. That's amazing. Yeah, there's those elk back in there. But tell you what, it's no joke. You can be injured or killed. That's pretty serious. I think we'll heed this warning. Instead of going on the trail that goes back in there right next to those guys, we're gonna take the long way back around. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it safe. We stepped into one of these fields here. You can see part of the fence is kind of broke down. So we were kind of wondering what was going on with it. If maybe something knocked it down or what, but Actually, it looks like over here they're making some new uh, little cross beams for these things. Just like they did in the old days. Just split a log and see where it fits. Tell you what, this is a pretty neat little area. Just to kind of walk around in the woods. It's kind of cool. Most of the buildings are closed up just because, you know, the, the park is officially closed. But it's still neat just to walk around, kind of wander a bit. Kind of pretend like you're back in the old days. You know, skipping rocks through the old river. That's a good idea.
Well, that wasn't so much of, as a skip as it was a kerplop. But it was still cool. Still pretty neat just to throw stuff. You know, a rock or two. Not too many. Just like one or two little ones. Shoot them across the river. I guess we've seen about enough of this river here. I think we're gonna go back up into the, the regular trail, out of the woods, walk by some of these buildings, see if there's anything interesting in there that we can see. Even though, like I said, some of them are closed because the, the place is actually officially closed. But yeah, we'll see. They're still, still pretty neat. Like, ooh, look at this. This is the blacksmith shop. Wow. Hmm. See anything inside of there? There is an anvil in there for doing some old blacksmith work. Looky here, we've come across the old spring house. I'm not sure what is in here. There's like a contraption. Looks like it's got some water. Can you see anything in there? Let's see. Locked up. It's locked by the best. Oh, you know, this is probably a spring. So the water comes up and goes into that thing. And then, I don't know, maybe they bottle it? I don't know. Use it for making whiskey. Got to keep people productive. Come across an actual like homestead looking place. Like a house. It's all closed up though. It's a nice porch. You guys. Oh, it's all locked up. You can smell these bushes. Can you smell those? Ah. Oh. This smells pretty good. Makes me think of mountains. It smells like the mountain. Oh, look at their gutters. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Just take a tree. Just put a tree up there. You got gutters. You got a nice back porch. It's a nice house. I'd live here. It is well made. Like I said, I'd, I'd ride it right on the river. It's got river view. I mean, there's no windows on this side, but they do have a river right out here. That is the uh, Mountain Farm Museum over at the Okalufti, Okaluftanufti, Okaluft, uh, seen enough to get the drift farm here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna head on out of here to the next location. Who knows where it'll be? But in any case, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us. We'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah, that's pretty cool.